Okay, you might be thinking, Chris, why do we have six pounds of onions here? What's with all the onions? That's a good question. What I want to do is an experiment, right? I want to try and make caramelized onions in a crock pot. I've been told it's possible. I've been told I can just put all these onions in this crock pot, let it go for like five hours with a little bit of oil and boom, caramelized onions instead of standing in front of a stove and stirring it for like an hour, hour and a half, right? So that's what we're gonna do today. And uh, if you're watching this video, uh, the experiment was a success because I'm definitely not gonna post this if it didn't work. Now what's annoying is I've got these small onions. I should have gotten significantly larger onions to make this a lot easier for me. Cause you know, if you grab like three one pound onions, then you just don't have to stand here and cut them as much. Oh my god, my eyes. My hands are going to reek of onion. Reek of onion for days, I imagine, after this. So if you guys can't tell by how, like, crude I'm just chopping these, it really doesn't matter right you're just trying to get it into into little pieces but like any uniformness like uh, any 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 consistency is kind of irrelevant here all right so we got like maybe a pound pound and a half of onions left over maybe i'll use them for something else later and by maybe i mean i will go ahead and wash your hands at least like nine times and uh, it'll still smell like onion okay we need oil in here and uh, am i out of olive oil okay i'm out of olive oil so we're just gonna we're just gonna use canola I'm just gonna hope for the best with some canola oil. Uh, maybe that much? You just need enough that it doesn't make the stuff burn. So I imagine it's like a medium amount of oil. Alright, plug it in, put it on low, and uh, I don't know, I'll see you in an hour. I'm gonna check on it every hour and just see if we get any progress. It's been an hour. Take a look. I mean, they've definitely gotten a little wilty, but nothing crazy. Here's what I want to do. What if we season this? You know, like, I think it, it could be fine. Let's do uh, two-ish tablespoons of butter, right? We already put a good bit of oil in there, but I want some butter, a little bit of salt. Remember, I know this looks like a lot of stuff, but you don't want to over salt it, right? Because it's gonna wilt down by like a lot once all the moisture is out of there. This is MSG. I don't think that this is really necessary into this because like you're kind of trying to make an MSG -E flavored thing already, but can't hurt. And then I was thinking, you know what's really good? Roasted garlic. And I don't have any other garlic left over here because we used it all in the soup, but got some uh, minced garlic in water. Is it the best tasting garlic? No, but still garlic. I'm gonna use the rest of that. I think those are all the seasonings that I'm gonna use here. I'm also gonna leave it slightly open because we need some moisture to get out of there and I'm gonna put it on high because I think that's the best option here. So I would love to lie to you and say it's been another hour, but we're nearing an hour and a half at this point. So this is the two and a half hour mark. Stuff is uh, it's getting smaller, it's getting smaller. Actually, I might try and get those other onions in here too. I don't know if that. Oh, that's too crazy of me. Okay, checking back in. Just to you know, instead of me telling you the time, there's the clock. All right, it started at 1:30. We're nearing four hours. Give it another mix. Yeah. Yes. There we go, dude. It is breaking down. Ooh, there's actually some caramelized under underneath there. Hold on. It's changing color just a little bit. It's about 7 p.m. now, and this is what we're working with. They are getting wet and translucent. I have a feeling this is going to be the entire day, though. I just have a feeling. I wonder if I can just get it going with the lid off for a little bit, or mostly off, because there's too much liquid in there. We need that evaporated. It's now 8 p.m. We are at six and a half hours. Starting to look jammy, but it's still so wet. Look at all that water in there. If we just pull the onions to the side. So much water. I wonder how they taste. Off the top. It's good. It's just kind of wet right now. It needs to be way drier. So I don't know if this is going to be what ruins this but I wanted to speed things along so as you can see it's no longer wet because I pulled that much liquid out of it I'm gonna boil this off for a while and then 
pour it back as long as I don't like screw anything up here. Also, this is getting the lid back on it so it can heat up faster. After an hour, this became a thick sticky goo. I'm just gonna cut the heat there, go over here, and dump the thick sticky goo into there. I'm gonna scrape that. Let's mix that in. This is looking a lot more caramelized now. That really needed to happen. To be fair, it is now 9 p.m. We started this at 1.30. So you know, that might have something to do with it. I have a feeling this might take like 12 hours. We're officially at the 10 hour mark. This is what it looks like. Mostly oil actually on the top now. It doesn't look like onion juice. I mean, I would say these are pretty much caramelized at this point. I think they're done. Let me try them really quick. Put it on a cracker. They're good. They could probably use a little bit more salt. Okay, it's now 2 a.m. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. So this is as far as we're getting, but like, look at them. Those are some nice, deeply caramelized onions. I don't even know if it would get much more caramelized than this. I feel like I might have maxed out here. Maybe a little bit darker, but I don't know. They look good to me. These things taste insanely good. Mmm. Some of the best caramelized onions I've ever had. Oh, fucking hot. 